Hey everyone, if you guys have seen the title, you guys know what we're going to be looking at today. And this is how it comes into the box. But before we begin the video, the unboxing and first impressions review, I just wanted to give you guys a little advice or tip for the day. If you guys that are watching this video have an Amazon account or membership, if you see something that you like, even though you're not ready to buy it at the time, but if you see anything that you might be interested in and you look under and you look in Amazon and it's there on Amazon, but you're not ready to buy it yet, put it on your wish list because you never know when the thing that you want to get or you're interested in getting might be on a lightning deal. And a good example of that is this Bluetooth speaker that we are looking at today, the Tribit Stormbox Blast. The W King that you guys saw me do a, a video on like two videos ago, W King D9, three days after I put that on my wish list, it was on a lightning deal. So I saved like $27 off of that. This Tribit, I think uh, a month or so later, it was on a lightning deal and some of you guys watching right now have probably been able to take advantage of the lightning deal on this uh, Tribit Stormbox Blast. Last week it was on a lightning deal for like $169 so that's like a savings of $30. This normally sells for $199.99 so like $200 and the lightning deal was when I saw it, it said 21 hours left and um it was $169. So yeah, that's $30 in savings. So there is the uh, pro tip or advice for you guys for today. If you guys have an Amazon account or membership, if you see anything that you may be interested in and it's on Amazon, put it on your wish list because you'll never know when it goes on a lightning deal like the speaker that we'll be looking at today. So I almost didn't get this speaker because... If you go to this speaker's product page on Amazon, on features and details, if you look under Bluetooth 5.3, it'll have something about the Tribit app and you can customize the sound without interrupting your music. And then it says, we're cons. We're cons? Oh, uh, okay. If somebody says they're cons, I might not get it because uh, what does cons to you seem like, right? A scam? Uh, not trustworthy dishonest con artists wear cons so try bit if you guys are watching this um you might have to get someone from your pr department to fix that little typo there where it says wear cons and so yeah try bit you're welcome uh you can send me a free product now if you'd like so underneath this box well first of all if you guys see here try bit i could have sworn um their headquarters is in Hayworth, California, something like that. It was in California. And on Amazon's product page, it says it's sold by Tribit, uh, shipped by Amazon. If you guys look at this address, I'm not going to try to lift it because this thing is kind of heavy. If you guys can see that, it says Tribit Direct and look at it. It says Oklahoma City. So that strikes me as kind of odd. So that Oklahoma City and work, that must be where their warehouses are. But I know their headquarters is in California. So their headquarters is along with another company that's making a name for themselves in the uh, like say mid-range or I want to I don't want to really say bargain but like high quality but good value uh, prices and brand and that's a uh, Soundcore. They're also in uh, California. Okay, so you got a box within a box. Oh man, this thing is heavy. Uh, I think they say it's like 13 pounds. Here is the Amazon box and underneath the Amazon box is a discreet tribit. Um, box. I've seen other unboxings before, so I know this ain't the actual retail packaging. So you got another box right here with the Tribit name and in a plain brown box. But I like that. They, they don't tell you, you know, it doesn't advertise what they're delivering to you so it doesn't get stolen. Anything over like $50, I, I think it should be in a discreet packaging so that people won't like try to steal your you know your porch pirates won't try to steal your stuff so underneath this brown tribit box is our actual box right here see this is the retail packaging it's a white box with the tribit logo so let's open that up so here's the plain brown um packaging from tribit or box net weight is 5.4 kilograms so what is 5.4 kilograms in pounds and that is the weight of the box right there and like i said it's not a light speaker but i like that i i kind of if you guys have seen my videos you know i'm of the old school thought if the speaker has some good weight to it then it's probably got good drivers good magnets um so here's the actual box 
that you would see at a retail store. And I like this one over the Dazzle D box that we looked at or Dazzled? Dazzle D box that we looked at or, um, in a previous video. So you could see the picture of the speaker and some of its features. 90 watt colossal sound, beat driven LEDs, IPX7 waterproof, 30 hours long battery life. That's, I believe this is the front of the box. If That's the top right here. Here on the sides is uh, what's included. So you can pause that and read it for yourself. And then you also have the TriBit app. You can download at the Apple Store or the Google Play Store. And what it's compatible with. So laptops, tablets, smartphones. Here in the back, it says TriBit, brighten up your party. Wireless party speaker, Bluetooth 5.3. And here on the other side is, again, some of the features. So you can pause that and read it for yourself. I like it. I like, the, I like this... Uh, packaging because as you guys know in most of your big box store like say Best Buy, Walmart, um, some of the not so well known brands like your TriBits, not so much Anchor no more because they do display Anchor products now because Anchor is getting up there in popularity. I mean even some of my friend co-workers already know about Anchor um, Soundcore products but they haven't heard of other companies like this one, TriBit, your Daz Delis, your uh, W Kings. So this kind of uh, retail box right here is a good combination of, it shows you the speaker, how it looks, and it shows you the key features, and not too much, you know, where it looks like they're bragging. It just shows you enough info to make a purchasing decision, but not too much where they're trying too hard to try to impress you. And I like that they have an app, same thing with Soundcore. That's the one thing why I always try to look for in headphones, mostly Bluetooth headphones and speakers, is that there's an app. If there if there's an app, that's always a, a good purchasing plus or decision for me. Right here up top, it says, thank you for choosing TriBit. And then it has the support at TriBit right there if you have any issues. Uh, they also have a tall free number, I think, on their website. Oh man, you guys smell that? That is the fresh smell of brand new electronics. So right here, it's kind of the same way uh, Soundcore packages their Bluetooth speakers. It comes in this uh, like carton, like a, almost like the egg egg cartons, not really a styrofoam, but like these egg carton type things t that uh, is sandwiched that your speakers are, is sandwiched in between. It, but it does have a plastic um, bag right there covering the speaker from dust and debris that <clears throat> the Ortizon didn't have. So right here is probably your accessories. So let's look at the accessories first. In the uh, accessory box. This is all you get, a manual. And it's a pretty thick manual, but that's probably because it's in different languages. Yep, so there you go. And then right here is the uh, charging cable that it comes with. Um, so some on some of the other reviews that I've seen, it doesn't do USB charging, which kind of sucks. So it has this, the one thing I like about this type of charging though is that you save room on your power brick on your uh, you know your surge protector power outlets because uh, if you need us if you need to use a USB-C or USB charger you know those USB power bricks um, take up space on a surge protector or power you know your power outlet and stuff like that so this is pretty cool and uh, it, it's, it, it looks like a standard connector to me. It, it looks almost like the same one that I have on the back of my TV, on my TV sets and uh, some of my sound bars. So if you ever need it, if you ever lose this, you can probably replace it pretty easily. So that's nice, but it would have been nice if uh, on any of these portable, what they call portable outdoor speakers, if it would have came with a, like an adapter for your you know for your car cigarette lighter so when you're out and about in the outdoors you could like use that adapter to charge your speakers via your uh, car so that would have been nice but they don't come with those adapters and so here is the actual speaker itself and like i said man it's heavy okay so after removing the speaker from the plastic covering here it is right here pretty good build quality Man, I love that smell, that new smell of uh, brand new electronic equipment and stuff like that, speakers. Uh, so the whole speaker is probably built the same way as Soundcore's speakers as far as like uh, 
the same type of tough polycarbonate plastic right here on the outside and like it says it's IPX7 waterproof so that means uh, it can take a submergent underwater like 3 feet 3.3 feet for up to 30 minutes the X in front of the 7 is usually for a solid so X meaning it, um, it didn't get tested for solids like say dust so like most likely that you guys see like IP67 means it's dust proof and waterproof so here in the back where the uh, rubber gasket to seal your speaker so it keeps it watertight it's easy to remove that's good because uh, as you guys have seen on my Ortizon review I didn't like that it was kind of hard to take out especially if you don't have fingernails there is your auxiliary port for your wired connection you know for your audio cables 3.5 audio cables right over here is your USB-C port for charging your other devices because this does act as a power bank and all these other little holes around here are just something they look like it could have been screw holes or they they're probably screw holes you know to for the speaker uh, but right here is the uh, the little regular AC charging port for this and uh, that's it um, make sure you close it up properly if you're gonna go close to water or at the pool so it seals in all those parts and it makes it waterproof and the little gasket has a storm, storm box blast um, name right there uh, the grills right here on the back and the grills over here in the front are all metal and then you have your tri-bit name right here so the if you guys are gonna ask if I'm gonna dunk this in water no they've, they've already had uh, there's other videos for that but if uh, you've seen my other videos where I've dunked a speaker in water, it did not turn out so well. I, I mean, yeah, the speaker is waterproof and it, it's uh, it's nice and working and operational. But remember, this grill is metal. And this is a $200 speaker. And if you want it to look nice over its lifetime, I try to keep it away from water as much as possible, even though it says waterproof. Here is my Transmart Element Force. And this has a metal grill too, and you can see the grills are like starting to rust a little bit, right? And that's what happens with any kind of metal. So I wouldn't have mind if they would have made the metal probably more like plastic or carbon fiber, but it's metal. Here on the sides is your passive radiators with the tri-bit name again on each side. They're pretty good size uh, passive radiators too. And then here up top are all your function buttons, your power button, your Bluetooth pairing button, your volume down. This is probably your play pause volume up. This, these are probably also the volume down probably works as a skip backward and the volume plus probably also works as a skip forward button. And then you have this light button right here for your lighting modes. I think there's like three different lighting modes and then here is for your x base and that's it so let's uh zoom out power this thing up and uh see how easy it is to pair it's a uh, bluetooth 5.3 so it should be pretty easy to pair and it should have pretty good distance but we will test that out in a full review you should be able to connect it to more than one device also because of the bluetooth 5.0 and greater and 5.3 i believe is the latest in uh, bluetooth technology as of this making on this video which is um tuesday august the 23rd 2022 okay so i got my smartphone right here and uh let's power the uh okay so it's powered on and the uh, bluetooth pairing light is on so let's see if we can find it and there it is right away let's try bit storm box blast and pair and it's paired just like that no issues at all pretty easy and as you guys can see the uh, lights are already on I don't know if these are the default lights but like I said there's three lighting modes that you can choose from and there's also the tri-bit app so should we download that I noticed here on the back of the uh, instruction booklet is the uh, a QR code so that's probably for the app so let's try it out web address 
show options. Okay. Search web. Well, I scanned the QR code. It really doesn't do anything. It just says view full text. Um, and that's it. Uh, yeah, look at this. You scan it. Go show options. I already showed view full text, search web. And if you go to there, it just has that. So, yeah, I'm not going to do that. So let's look for the TriBit app um, on the Play Store. And there it is, I guess. You have the TriBit logo, and there it is. So we're going to install it. Okay, it's fully installed. Let's open the TriBit app. And what does it say? We understand the importance of... So it wants me to set up an account. I hate when they tell you to do that, but every app does that, even the Soundcore app. So I will be right back so I can give them some information about myself that they can probably pass along to third party. I don't know. It says they don't. I just wanted to show you guys on this Tribit app when you're when it wants you to log in, you log in if you already have an account, right? Or you sign up or it says do not register. But when you hit do not register, nothing happens. So you have no other choice but to sign up for an account. So that's what I'm going to have to do. Okay, so after you uh, set up your Tribit account, it'll tell you if you want to connect to your device or whatever. And it has up top like two categories, headphones and speakers. It has the logo for, or the icon for headphones and speakers. And when if you hit the one for speakers, there's only two devices right now that support the Tribit app. And it would, it's their two newest speakers, the TriBit Stormbox Blast, which is this, and the uh, Stormbox Micro 2. Not the first Stormbox Micro, but the second Stormbox Micro, and that's it. And then, yeah, so then you, I guess this is the home button. It tells you Stormbox Blast, 77% battery, and uh, right now that's, what, the EQ setting probably? Click the orange square area to enter the EQ list package. So there's the volume. It's, uh, it's, at, it's at very low. And if I hit the orange square, it'll tell you what's on it. So it says music, X space, and uh, audio book. But what I want to know is... Okay, so right here it says music, customize, X space, audio book, classical, jazz, and party. So we will be testing those out. But the default is music, so that's what I'm gonna, we're gonna use for our first sound demo. And uh, we're gonna use that button right there for x -Base to turn on x -Base with music. And then later on, I'll probably look up some EQs, probably from Alan, Alan Ross's channel. I do like his EQs. Uh, but let me see here if uh, there's a firmware upgrade. It says upgrade firmware. And what does it say? Okay, so I have the latest, I guess. It says the current version does not need to be upgraded. So we have the latest firmware upgrade version. Firmware version is 2.0. So there you go. And auto shutdown is on, auto hibernate is off, lighting mode is one. So that, what is the other lighting modes? How many? So there's only two. I thought there was three. So that's the lighting mode one. What's lighting mode two? Lighting mode two is like a, a breathing mode or color shift mode. And then lighting mode one. It's kind of like color shift, rainbow color shifts. I don't know. Uh, so there's only two right now lighting modes. Okay, so we have the latest firmware and whatnot. Um, should we test it out? Let's do that. Okay, so we are still at the lowest volume it has it on, on the app. And I'm just going to go up top here and just play music and see how it sounds. Let's go like 50% volume. Okay, as we are doing these little sound demos, you guys know you should wear headphones, right? For the best audio representation or experience and not your smartphone or tablets on speak or laptops on speakers. If you don't have headphones, have a good sound system at least, like good Bluetooth speakers like this or a sound bar or something. All right, so I'm just gonna go back and forth between, it's on 
as you guys saw on the app, it's on regular, it's default music mode. And um, the extra bass is off, but there's still plenty of bass. <laughs> Okay, let's try a different music. Extra bass is on right now. We're still at 50% volume. Okay, so that was Metro with extra bass on this one. Here's like a rock heavy metal type song. Okay, uh, I can feel the vibration. There's plenty of bass even without the uh, extra bass mode off. And it doesn't seem to muddy up the sound. That's one thing I'm noticing. Even with extra bass on, sometimes when you put an extra bass feature on, it'll muddy up the vocals for the expense of more bass, but this one is not doing that. Creeping up from the heathens, got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they want to go, we extra bases off. Them. If you're coming for me, extra base on. Boy. And I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing. Take me for granted, and you know I'm leaving. I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving. I could take this crap from seeing to believing. Got a taste for blood, and my tongue keeps picking. From the words I spit, so sharp, so freezing, so cold, behold, frostbite, they And I can tear you apart, or I could go heal them Don't believe in fate, don't believe in feelings I need it, taste in my mind, starts feeling I don't pace my Man, this thing is loud, and we're only at 50% volume I'm afraid to go all the way up Because, um, I don't want to disturb the rest of the household But, screw it, let's do it Let's just see. Okay, one more song and then we're, we're going to end this uh, unboxing and first impressions. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile. This thing is loud. I'm going to turn it back down a little bit. But I've known you too long. It hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray. As you fade away. Yeah, 
yeah, I'm about to fade away. Cause every time I wake up, I feel like it's Monday. So I'm going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain. All of a sudden, I don't look at anything the same way. Gotta build up on my thoughts sitting in an ashtray. I'm sorry. So oh, it's convenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows, no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain So that is our look at this Tribit, Tribit, Stormbox, Blast Unboxing and first look So... It's a, actually one day later since the un, since I did the unboxing. So I got to spend a little bit more time with the speaker. And here are a few things that um, I've noted since the unboxing one day later with this uh, Tribit tri 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 Stormbox Blast. The bass on this speaker, number one, is really good. You don't even need to turn on extra bass on to have really good and deep bass out of all my bluetooth speakers that i have this probably has the deepest bass and it's got the most bass so you don't really need to turn extra bass on if you're not into bass or even if you are a bass head number two it's uh it's going to be a battery king so right now as you can see i'm at 69 percent when i unboxed this it was at 70 percent and so what i did after i finished the unboxing or video taping the unboxing yesterday I charged it to full and then I listened to it I, I listened to the speaker the whole night with the lights on and uh, it was on probably like I want to say 30% volume maybe 25% when I listened to my audible my audible books and everything like that for like um before i go to sleep i always listen to some audible books and that's what puts me to sleep yeah it's it stayed at six it's only at 69 percent now and right now as you guys can see it is a uh, 10 43 in the evening and i just got home august wednesday august 24th so it's one day later and uh it's gonna be a battery king that's number two number one is it has a lot of bass number two it's gonna be a battery king Number three, this is not a light speaker. It is a very heavy speaker. So if you guys are into the portability aspects of getting a Bluetooth speaker, this may not be for you. I mean, sure, it's got a handle, but it's not a light speaker. So I don't know if, if for you guys, to you, that's a con. To me, I consider it a plus. Like I said in previous videos, I always feel like a quality speaker, especially a subwoofer, is something that's heavy. It's going to have good drivers, good magnets. It reminds me of the drivers that they use in the French headphone company. What are they called? Focal? I think they use beryllium drivers on their high-end or most expensive headphones, right? So those are pretty heavy headphones, the the ones that use the beryllium drivers. And uh, this is, it's, to me, it seems like the equivalent of that as far as like the weight goes. As a matter of fact, when the lights are on on this uh, Bluetooth speaker, this Tribit, it reminds me of uh, the power block dumbbell set you guys ever seen those they look like power it looks like a power block to me dumbbell and it, it feels like a power block <laughs> dumbbell you could use it for working out pretty much with this uh bluetooth speaker because it's like like 13 pounds or so so you can use this for working out number four is in are we at number four number three connectivity it has very good connectivity as i mentioned this is a bluetooth 5.3 it has very good connectivity as far as like from my room where I'm recording this right now to the living room is probably about like 40 to 50 feet and that's with obstructions with other rooms in the way in the hallway and everything like that so when I was walking I left the phone inside the room that I'm recording at and then um, brought it to the living room I didn't get any kind of like interference or dropouts maybe a little bit of interference at the end of the hallway but once i got back to the living room i guess because the living room is kind of um even with the other rooms in the way it's still within like in the same alignment with the with my room it connected and it, it sounded the i mean the speaker it was still playing my music it sounded just like it would sound as if my phone was with me so it has very good connectivity that i've seen so far with the bluetooth 5.3 Another good thing with Bluetooth 5.3 is uh is this. So right now as you can see you got it's uh connected to my smartphone, my Galaxy S21 Ultra. 
but it's also connected to my tablet my Lenovo Yoga Tab right here my Lenovo Yoga Tab 13 so you it could be connected to two devices at the same time and you don't have to like disconnect one from the other like what I do with some of my Bluetooth speakers and last night with my QN90A it connected very easily I it connected and paired easily with the QN90A and with the uh, Lenovo Yoga Tab 13 it was still paired with my smartphone and it was also paired with my Samsung QN90A smart TV slash monitor for watching videos and speaking of videos because of Bluetooth 5.3 you're not going to get too much latency I still probably wouldn't trust it if you want to get like the quickest latency or whatever as far as like or lowest latency for games I haven't gotten a chance like I said I don't really play games so I haven't been able to test it for games maybe in a future video but for just watching action movies or movies or TV shows or YouTube Netflix there is no latency at all that none that I noticed so whatever was coming out of the video as far as like for voices when they're talking the sound matched with the video or whatever they were saying would be in sync with the video so there's no latency on that part and you know I wish I could show you more on that but like I said the last time I showed that with the trailers uh, I got a copyright flag and what else that's pretty much it um, yeah so far so good um, oh one one other thing these lights there are two modes right now we're on mode one that's the one I like the best but regardless if you're in mode one or mode two when you're uh, switching volumes these uh, light bars right here acts as a volume meter so like if I lower the volume if you look you could see well maybe you have to be playing music I don't want to play music right now because you know what here hold on I'll, I'll I'll play one of my videos so I don't really um, it's not like I'm really playing music right it's from a company called Daz Dali and first things first okay so right now we're playing my last video that I just posted which was on the Daz Dali Dazzling Boom and look at the light bars um, my voice might be a little off today right now I'm at a 30% I was probably. using those Ortizon you can see P6 speakers see the speaker this right past there? weekend see the bars? singing karaoke. Watch. <clears throat> so go I really don't have all my voice right now. So the Dazdali, why is it still in the box right here, right? That's because this is how I like it as far as like when I receive packages from Amazon or anywhere else. There's, it's a just plain brown discrete box with my address on the other side that you, you guys, guys see don't that? see. So that it doesn't advert. So every time I turn the volume down, the light bars would go down. If I turn the volume up, the light bars would go up. So if you guys didn't catch that, just pause the video or rewind the video. Get a better look at it again. But yeah, so they act as like volume meters right there. And as you guys could see, they also go in tune with the with the voices or with the music. Uh, to the rest of the world and to me, the rest of my neighbors or the porch pirates that hey look we got this nice look right so that's that's a pretty cool functionality but if you guys aren't into lights there's you could just turn them off that's it but me I like the lights if they're an extra feature I'm gonna take advantage of them so there's I guess we're at mode one so yeah so the only con that I have so far on this uh, tri-bit stormbox blast Bluetooth speaker is um is the app itself so in the app so right now that is my EQ I copied it off of Alan Ross's uh, EQ settings and then tweaked it with my own so when when you're in the uh, EQ of your choice and see extra bass is considered part of the EQs so if you want to use extra bass and your custom EQ you can't do it um, I don't know if that makes a big difference or not. Probably doesn't. But on on my rave party cast, I could still turn on um, bass boost or extra bass or whatever, and along with the custom EQ that I'm using. Whereas on the uh, Tribit Tribit Stormbox Blast, you cannot use the extra bass feature along with your custom EQ. So either it's your custom EQ, which and you have to really like your custom EQ, or you you can use X bass 
or one of the other EQ modes, but you can't use both, like X bass and your custom, or like music mode and X bass, you can't use it. It's only one or the other. So that's something I, I didn't like. Uh, I wish you can use both. Like, uh, I wish a lot of these apps, at least at, on um, Trebit, since they do have an app, or even on Soundcore's uh, apps, their Soundcore's app, that um, I could transfer my Soundcore, what is it, Here ID EQs onto my Soundcore speakers or other Soundcore headphones. But you can only use that Soundcore Here ID EQ setting with your, like, um, for me, it's with my Liberty 3, Liberty 2 Pros, and it doesn't have it on any of the other ones. So I wish I could do that. And I wish you could do some kind of like here ID test with these speakers. That would that would be really nice. Tribit, maybe Tribit in the future. So yeah, that's it so far. I very highly recommend this. Like even for in the short time, uh, it just works. It's great. It's a uh, two thumbs up. Very highly recommended at this time. Even for one ninety nine, and there was no lightning deal. I would bit. I would buy this. I would get this. If you guys do have this on your wish list and it pops up again for another lightning deal, I would snatch it up right away. This speaker, at, as of this date, August the 24th, on Tribit's website, it's still sold out. And the only other place that I've looked at or that I did a Google search that you can get it is on Amazon. So it's either Amazon or Tribit's website. And on Tribit's website, it's sold out. On Amazon, is the only other place and it sells for $199.99 so that is that that is it if you guys are interested in this tribit stormbox blast and you want to find out more info or you're interested in purchasing it please use my amazon links in the description as it does help out this channel and my charity the wounded warrior project for wounded veterans and uh if you guys have found this video informative and helpful or entertaining Please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at The Workout Geek for all my latest happenings and great workout tips. Till next time, take care, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day. And when I feel like this, I'm